All right, guys, we're trying to build like a uh, <clears throat> trying to build like a mountain up here, but old vice bit the dust here. Cracked yesterday when I was giving it a few wax. Guess I gotta put my new one here, but we're trying to build the iPhone mount, like a mount up here. I'm gonna weld the bolt up here to a plate and then weld it to here. So we can use it for a head, head up mount for this little welding stand, or this stand I use, so we can get some different shots. Let's get this sucker put in. Guys, check out the new overhead cam. I think it looks pretty cool. Even go ultra wide right here. I think I like this better than like this. Perfect. I think this should do the trick. Perfect little view when I weld. Get all down here too. Perfect angle. <clears throat> Barnacles, boys. <clears throat> the only thing limiting us today is the weather. Can't even do my projects. Still need to finish the Forerunner. But, got this welded up. Probably way stronger than it needs to be. Check it out. I should definitely get an overhead view. Right onto this workspace. Got the vise mounted up too, so... Pretty happy. Two things done. Only if it didn't rain. Be get, be in good shape, but it's all right. <clears throat> Just wait for this to pass. Continue on our work. All right, guys, another day. I'm gonna go at this with the sawzall now. I'm gonna go at the metal with a better idea. This time, I can get the job done. Sun's out today, so perfect day. No rain in sight. Perfecto. Guys, we finished. Tacked it in. We're gonna try and See if this holds the 35 and we'll see how it fits up. It should hold the 35. It breaks. <clears throat> on here now slid over a bit more <clears throat> I want it to clear the brake light right here but I don't know if this is an issue barely see the brake light good thing we got the third brake light up here but got room for fun stuff over here now jerry cans yeah I think that looks, that's about good if you look at it straight on right there. Depending on what angle you get. Looks good though. Here's how I tacked it in. Here's where it previously was right here. It had like two, um, two support arms, but I think you probably really only need one. I could probably try to get those back up. There's, just, there's still some room over here, so it'll fit there. And then I probably do this one here too. Still, just got to do a shallower angle. I think I should be okay. Also planning to cut 
<clears throat> need to cut up these studs but it might be a little bit harder with it tack welded on now i should have did that before but we'll see what i decide <clears throat> Alright guys, the next thing we welded on is this uh, pin stopper because the original stopper is just this bracket right here stopping the arm. It's all bent up as you guys can see. But yeah, I'm going to try to get on this new. It's just tacking in, test fitting this little thing. Didn't realize that pretty snug fit almost touching right there probably gonna move it a little bit out more and then need a weld <clears throat> weld some pieces out here and weld stoppers weld the piece on this outside section and drill holes so it has points where it snaps in Alright guys, so we're at the, we're trying to weld in the little bumper uh, pin here, it's a bumper stop pin. The um, only thing is it's not sitting completely flush, so looks like I'm going to probably cut it off. I just don't like how it's not sitting flush. This thing is just warping too. The flux is getting all in the spring, so it's kind of messing it up also. It's not a good thing, but... <clears throat> Um, yeah, we need a weld plate here for the stop and then a plate out here Because with the spare tire on the clearance is Gets pretty close once you get over here or once the tire swings out like this. This is a problem This is probably about the max swinging point of the Swing out here with the tire Positioned and the tire uh, Yeah tire carrier positioned like this Let's get this figured out. What's up guys, XX Pocket Knife here and today, pretty exciting day I would say. I picked myself up here a welding tank. I had the, uh, I had the tank, but it was just the empty tank. So we're probably gonna plug this guy in. I'm gonna go pick it up at uh, my local welding supply shop. Ordered myself a regulator here, so I believe you just plug the regulator in here and then on my welder I have a attachment right there. Just plugs in also, so let's get this set up and then give you guys a quick tour of it. Alright, one little tip is this fitting comes out, so the barbed, this is for the barbed fitting right here, two in one so it's both threaded. 
that barbed fitting and that go together in case you just want to do a plastic hose but <clears throat> since we got this hose All right, guys, I think I have everything set up correctly. Hopefully, let's see. Didn't watch any YouTube videos on this, so. I'll go at it. Lowest setting. So it does. Pretty good, I'd say. <clears throat> there you go, though, guys. We'll see how this machine does. I gotta figure out the settings and stuff for it. MIG is a little bit different with the settings. I'm about to tack in my swivel chair seats here. I know the casters are not too good. Could order a new set and throw them in here, but probably run these for now. It's the fun little project. And we, saw, we also got the jerry can down there. Let's get this thing tacked in. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to replace the speaker down here. It has like a little rattle when you uh, play music and the bass hits. Listen up here. of the speakers broken or what but so yeah we'll try to fix that replace the speaker since we have it might as well see you guys when we finish it all right guys i think we might have fixed the issue i don't know if it's because of all this <clears throat> the seals all flappy and stuff but let's test it out That's about a good level, 25. Seems about good. Probably just gotta tape this up best I can. Old Bethula's glue has come off. All right guys, so the next piece of maintenance here is on the Forerunner. Door doesn't open up unless you pull it all the way. Barely opens. So I want it to open up like earlier. If you compare it to this side, it pops open way sooner, not at the end of the travel. 
sometimes doesn't even open like that. So we'll figure it out. Guys, this is the finished product. Still trying to dial in my MIG welder, but it's kind of an ugly bracket. It's probably the only option though with the swing out <clears throat> being this far without doing more modding. Probably have to cut this and then put it up here, but I'll run this for now. So, yep. Tool, dual, uh, dual pin lockouts right here. You can lock out at the beginning right there or open it up. You can lock out right here also. Leaves just enough room for festivities. Hopefully nothing happens like that. But we'll see. Should have probably put a bigger gap. <clears throat> Might have to add some weld too. I was thinking of welding in there just to make it space take it up. Get taken up a bit more, but I know that the weld's not super precise, so just like I'll, I'll run this for now. Could probably end up switching it later. Yeah, the spare tire is pretty, pretty solid so far too. Here are the welds for that. Hung on it, held up pretty well. I could probably add that arm. Just haven't yet. Or I could just run it like this. Pretty solid. Just will add a bit more rigidity. And then when I test fitted the hitch earlier, I, I couldn't use it with the spare tire. I'd have to shift the spare tire up more. But I didn't want to do more work either, so I just left this as is. So. This is the final swing out project version one. <sighs> My boogery welds. Boogery boogery welds. All right guys, we're gonna be doing job number one. Something I always wanted to do, take out this freaking radio out of here. It's a Sony, I believe, so we'll see. See how it is when we take it out. All right guys, so today's project is the uh, swing out arm where my Sequoia's, or my uncle's Sequoia's bumper. Did this a while back. Definitely buggery welds, you guys can see there. We need to get this all situated. We're gonna cut everything off, redo it again. Only option at this point. Look at all those boogers. We didn't paint anything, so all the rusty stuff is probably, is what we did. Might leave these baskets, just grind these down, not too. Not too important. I should withhold. Got a lot of work to do. Let's get started on this.
guys pretty happy with the settings on the welder look at that welding some dimes right here i'll still get in it tuned up this is the first i was getting a lot of burn through but i think it was probably because i was using different thicknesses of metal so didn't weld that good but still better than the previous ones yeah that is looking good keep going let it rest The hottest setting burnt through this, which I didn't think was gonna happen. I thought this thing maxes out at this thickness, but I guess not. Freaking burns through the machine. Look at that. We're gonna weld the other side of this triangle now. finish welding up this uh, arm. The welds turned out pretty good, I think. Yeah, way better with this new machine right here. <clears throat> um, yeah, I just need to paint it, grind it down. Try to clean up all the boogers and the holes. Looks way better. There's not as many holes now, so that's a good thing all yeah everything's like patched up so then we just gotta put this back together we'll be good to go shoo it's so windy guys i think the next project here is we're gonna move the spare tire over a few inches so we could do like a dual jerry can setup over here and then the hitch can be used also and we also need to add the latch right here instead of the screw in. Then we need to do the pin, locking pin right here too. But that'll be done at a different time probably. I think today, let's try to get the latch and maybe re-cut this up. Relocate this tire. Oh yeah, and also the studs too. All right guys, here's the final product of this. Cut the cap open to cut off that screw in bolt. Could have kept that as a backup, but I think I might just run this, see how it goes. This thing has a security latch right here, so it's not not just uh, a one, one latch system. This is how it works though. Boom, close it. Lift this up. This goes or the tension, bypass that tension. This locks in right here, back piece, so you can't open it unless you break that somehow. One thing I'm worried about is the clearance between this uh, bar and this, but it seems like it's okay, so 
run it for now. The welds, pretty good, I would say. Pretty good. Bottom, just could be sketchy because it's not, <coughs> it's not tons of weld down here, but decent amount. We'll run it, see how it does. Already did a test on it. Seems like it held up pretty well. I was just trying to dial in the welds or the settings right here for the top. Kind of burnt through at some parts, but it did good on this side right here. Pretty good, pretty good. Button this up, put it back together. All right guys, so we couldn't get any further cause the, uh, <clears throat> some welds under here. Probably gotta get a plasma cutter or something. I don't know how to cut those welds. And under here too, so. This is as far as I can get. Um, painted this. Yeah, it's, should be good to go. Need to get that end cap on. I think now I'm just probably just gonna be uh, organizing this car right here. You just can see the uh, storage mobile needs to get organized. There's tons of stuff in it. Way too much stuff. Shoes, TV stand, spare parts. Boxes and boxes of stuff. Let's get this organized and we'll be back. Alright guys. Got it all organized now. There was some rat poop in here, but I don't know if it was from the... I just didn't clean it well enough, but... Got all the rims out. Threw away a good amount of cardboard. Sort it out a bit better. Have more room. Storage is always important. It comes to off-roading storage for parts, unless you have a car that never breaks down, but no one has that, so. It's all organized. I think it's gonna be it for today. Continue tomorrow or something.